Greetings, welcome to Colida Dominicana, who speaks to you, Gremio Sure, and all his music. Today we are going to test the new equipment that has just arrived. We have been waiting for it for a long time. It is nothing more than the Colida K50 mask. Let's take a look here. Here we have the Colida K50. It is beautiful. Look at this beauty. It's the first collider receiver that has two cameras, stakeout and augmented reality to do modulations on the front camera. It is a very didactic equipment. You will see the unboxing here in this new video and let's see what this new bolide receiver offers us in the field, okay? So join us. Look at this rig here, dual camera. It's got SIM, it's got data and charging, it's got UHF and the pins, five pins. So let's go over here to the collector, the HDS. A little bit lighter, not as rugged as the H6, but it's pretty compact. I'm gonna hook up to the device and I'm going to record the screen because my interest here in this video is for you guys to learn how to use this NSS device. It's virtue. You guys already know how to rethink augmented reality. You've seen it. I'm going to skip that part that he does it too. I'm going to focus more on the photogrammetric survey part. We are now going to connect to Wi-Fi. I mean, it's not by Bluetooth, it's by Wi-Fi, okay? Because the data consumption is very, very dense and it needs a very powerful bandwidth, like the Wi-Fi connection. I'm going to connect. Wi-Fi connected. Hey, how fast? Wi-Fi connected is very fast Wi-Fi, eh? I'm going to hit Rover, I'm going to hit Cores, and I'm going to put a Cores closer. I'm going to another team. I'm going to look at the one that's closer. Here we want it cheap. I'm going to give it cheap. Okay, connect. Okay. It's already fixed, okay? We can see the distance that it has to the cores, which is a little bit long, yes? But look that it is stable already at two centimeters, five centimeters of precision. So let's go now to the park. For in the park, try a scenario where you don't have access uh, to the point and use photogrammetry to get to the point. Let's see. Look here. I want to take the one over there. I want to pick it up, but I don't have access because it's closed on all four sides. I am going to get to it. There I can apply the photogrammetry that we have in the RSAs to make a modulation of it. Important number one, that this equipment is fixed. Look, it's still a little bit closed, but it's fixed. Number two, I must always aim at the point where I'm going to get to. I mean, I'm going to hit it backwards. Photogrammetry, IMO must be on, and the height must be correct. The height is 1.8, which this stick has, 1.8. IMO, I'm gonna turn it on to test it. And here it is, I'm gonna start shaking it a little bit. This equipment was loaned to us by the folks at Green Data, which is our one-to-one -one customer. This equipment, this K-Set, is K-Set 3, K-Set 50. This K-Set 50 is from Dimension 1 in Mexico. So, I've already got the IMO activated, and I've already got the right height. Then I'm going to go back, I'm going to photogrammetry. In photogrammetry, with all the conditions given, I have to aim at my target. My target is that spot right there. I want to take that roof right now. Because of the height I have, what I want is the three points of the roof and not the entrance. What do I have to do? I have three ways to do it. From up here, by photography, by video, or by post-processing. I'm going to take it by photography. I go to photography and I have to take at least five pictures. But always photographs with the lens in the center of the frame, there must be all five. And I have to move in one direction, going around the object. Look at what he explains below. Keep the target inside the frame. Take at least five pictures around the object or with a minimum circular, with a distance of more than two meters from the target. I'm about four meters from the target right now, so I'm good. I'm in the center and I'm gonna start taking pictures. 
Are you going to? Are you going to say number of picture taken? One, I keep walking. I put another angle up front here, the lens in the center, and another picture. That's going to come up there on the side of the screen too. Always the target in the center. Because I must have common points. Look here, I'm going to take the last picture. I'm going to process the red here. The software can now process in the same field. Look, save image. Start processing. If there was internet or no internet, there is a modality now that is going to be able to process. Here it's loaded because here it's going to need the internet to process. I'm going to wait for it to process. It is important that the equipment is fixed and that it has internet. In what is going to be for post-processing, I'm going to do other shots, okay? Calling the cloud to load, I'm going to do a video now. One video, one video of the same location. I'm going here to left. I'm coming here and I'm moving always with the lens inside the frame. This movement can be up to 5 seconds, from 5 seconds to 60 seconds of video. Image saved, star processing. Okay, I was calculating and compressing this data. Upload to a server, calculate and resend the data. Let's get this data loaded. In this case, since I have the chip in the collector, the processes have been saved for me previously post-processing it. So, the chip is in the head. I have data on the collector, but that I can't process online. I'm going to come here, and I'm going to do it now in the last mode. The post-processing emeante mode. And I hit save. Start recording the video. I can do it horizontally. Move slowly horizontally or circularly to the object always keeping the target in the center i already saved this image in the receivers for post processing and we will open it in the next video posing it already in the cabinet this process is now to do it online i'm going backwards i'm going to go to geometry i'm going to go here to image i'm going to see the one that i've already lifted look here and all the ones i lifted with the equipment from structure they are already lifted i'm going to choose the smallest one for this test five photos I'm going to click and hit select point. It looks green like it's not loaded at all because they're safe. I'm going to calculate it. I would have done it with the internet online right now. No, I do. But let's do a test there online with the internet online. This one was without internet. I recorded photos, videos, and for post-processing, here is compressing the files, the five photos, to upload to the virtual. And there I can get points from the photos, clicking three photos, there it is compressing. We go for this compress, it loads. And I jumped on a finished product, okay, there it is loading. It's calculating the data, it's at 81%, it's already there at 96%. Let's see how it handles, there it is, it's up, he's calculating the data. Here it is, you can see it, look at the screen. My job here is to see what I want. If I want the edges of the corner, we can click on the same image. I look for it, I select it, it calculates it, and I choose it three times. The same point, the same point three times, okay? This other image, I'm going to put the same point where it more or less falls now in this image. There it's going to adjust it, and I'll create the point. I can save it, I save it, and that's it. I have saved the point from an image. I'm going to put point one here, and from my flight, and so on and so forth, I'm seeing dots in the image. Look here, this other corner that's here. I'm going to select, I can increase whatever I want. To confidence, zoom in on that. You have the other image again. They have to fix your line well. They have the software to be able to adjust the image. The one that went a little bit off, if you think that image is not very good, calm down for another one. Where it looks better, where it has no deviation, click on it and you can save your point. Stitch two, and that's how you save the stitches. They are inside each point. They were raised by you, but their points taken with the image that we've raised. Now we're going to go through there to do the same thing to Duarte, to make it modulated. Photos, videos, and post-processing. Join us. We are here at the Duarte. Look here, we have the job already. Let's do it properly. I'm going to take Duarte now. I'm going to do it with a video. I'm going to put it on video. And I'm going to start here, 20 feet or so away from Duarte. I'm going to hit save video. It's fixed, right? And I'm going to load it up and make sure it's all correct. Start moving. Always in the box where Duarte is in the center, okay? Your target is in the center because the center is what you're going to be able to see at work, okay? I already have 20 seconds there. I stop here, I stop. And here I have the option to do it online because I have internet now. I activate a little package on the chip and I'm going to do it all at once. Run it here on the camera. 
and it's also going to be saved. Okay, image is saved. It's going to start progressing. Okay, it's going to start getting compressed again. When I compress all those images and I record a video, but that video converts it to images, and those images are going to be modeled in the Patrizio Duarte. So it's already loading, right? It's uploading the cloud, uploading so that. Patricio, father of the fatherland, good for here, for here for the shadow, to do now the post process. In the post process, I am going to give the complete turn to Duarte, because there will be the other video for the Trace T modeling, okay, to load the images. And then there we are going to verify, okay, since that loads, as they are images, they are heavy. To all we are going to do the same process we did right now, I'm going to cancel it now, because I want to record a modeling for post process, okay, we go to another distance. And I can give here 3,600 seconds, okay? Then I'll start here. Or to let me know, of course, then I can start. And I do my modeling. This post-process already, this data, you can't process it in the field, okay? When you put the model mode by post-process. It is to process it in the software. Don't walk too fast. Always try to make it more than two meters your survey. I already do more than two meters here in more than five seconds, okay? So, the slime that activated you, that's very good, very good, and already here. When I go all the way around, I'm going to close, and that's it, let it finish, I'm going to stop it, and that's it. I already did the same process, then this part here, very interesting. I can come here to the imaging part, and look at my lifts, look there. The modeling that I just did, that I can process here in the field, the one I took the pictures of, the video I made, already unresolved, and here, I added it, I must calculate it, and here, if, already, it is going to redo the process that we did now to load to process and do it in the field that's the one we say now then the one now was a little bit of a process okay so this is the technical part of the field and i'm going to bring you a picture with duarte to take as a souvenir we can't move in the shade yes of course we can sure 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 that's a good idea that's a good idea he's got some cocoa and that's it this part we're going to look at in the collector at any time we can progress those images and take the data, okay? Here we are already in the office. After having erected in the field two different structures, we are going to make science. Key points that they should learn, that you need to know. I'm going to add my collector screen here, so you can see it over here on the side. Look over here, that you're going to see that I'm connected to the work. I don't have the instrument plugged in here. I don't have the demo mode. Look at this. Case B, there's demo mode, so you can see it's fixed. But it's a simulation for this video. Let's hit measurement here. In measurement, we're going to go to photogrammetry. It's asking me to connect to the Wi-Fi of the receiver. But that's if I want to use the camera. In this case, I don't want to use it. I'm going to hit cancel. Then look here at the bottom left. I'm going to give you a clip. And there are all the surveys that I did. So much to Duarte, the Duarte monument, as well as that structure that passes a red cistern box, a red cistern cubicle. Then look here. Everything that had already been done, what he was able to progress properly, and one that could not process. So I want to show you something important. Let's start with Duarte. There were five photos. I can here delete it, edit it, or select points. In other words, what I want to do is to see it. I have the option to recalculate it again, so that he can recalculate it for me. And the advantage now is that there are two ways to do it. Now those are added new also to the software. Local solution, the one we were missing. The way to be able to process images without uploading to the server. If there is no internet where you are, and you have connected to a broom, for example, you have no internet, you can do this. Local solution. And it will look for the solution locally in the collector. If there is internet, you can click on online solution. It will upload it to the cloud again. It's going to calculate and it's going to bring you the processed image. So you can click on the points as we did before. If you take pictures or videos, it's always going to be photos at the end. Because it's going to fragment the video into photos according to what you need to give you a product already of photos. That's why for me, it's recommended that the one who is learning to use this equipment to manage their alapamiento, the time of photo, how to differentiate each photo, the way to do it by video better. Because if you record the video, you are moving. And when you finish the video, he's going to cut it as he thinks is best. And he'll make it so you always get through the process. Or that it's better for it to pass. Because there are cases where the image can match or the pictures were not taken correctly, we're going to calculate it online in this case. Because I have internet, it is better online if there is internet, because the server is more powerful. But if there is no internet, it's good that you take then the local solution. You have it there, local solution to do it without internet.
An online solution to do it with internet is going to take longer because it's going to load, process and send and that's the difference. So for photographs, always take you what I produced you there, what I explained to you, that it was a distance of 2 meters. It can be circular or it can be linear, you don't have to fix the object if you are on this side of the street that you live to that side, then you go linear on the sidewalk if you want a modulated to create a model 3 of an object. It is recommended that it is circular, that you surround it like Duarte. If you take photos or videos, they are to have a product in the field or in the office. They have the shortest time. For example, the video has to be 7 seconds. That's the disadvantage. 1 minute. But when it is post-process, that is the third one. You can make it 3000 seconds and then some. It helps you shoot a good video. Really heavy, nice and robust, lots of images. What happens that the model always comes out or comes out? In another video, we are going to explain how to do modeling in the software QG or the Colga. In this video, we will see its lifting functions. You already know it. Survey photos, you know it offline and online and you know it and videos they already know that they look here that there is a flaw because the images were taken far away one from the other it's not going to process i must understand in this case here that yes this was a video he took a video he divided it in more than 20 photographs and he was putting it strategically so that one could connect to the other able to allow me to take data in this image of good quality with good precision look here i can't see the knob i must see more this way one more picture over here and here i can see it there are three only three that i need in the same spot and look already here already bringing it closer to me already marking me a little dot there and just like that it has to sound i can put it away and i already have the dot look how good how fast and i can do it with the whole image okay 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 so look I've already explained different way. The post process for another video, the recommendations that I make the best video than photo so you can get used to the system and learning. It is a novelty. This tool is going to be very useful in the future. You will see because they can take data from things that they don't reach. That's number one, but they can modulate environments. I could modulate this office and present it and bring it to one place digital where I can appreciate it in detail and with this virtual thing this will be a boom not too late this will be an opportunity for all surveyors and all the animators so obviously get to know it see it in the tool and adapt to the new times who spoke to you today about the animator jesus muñoz this was polia dominicana subscribe like us follow us on instagram and see you in an upcoming video bye